What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony. In the last episode, we had a mini game that I wasn't expecting. Um, we got to go into manhole. We got to like, you know, we got to hang out. We had a good time. Um, in general, Kaede's got a lot of things to learn, but you know what? We learn that with time. So, yeah, this episode, I'm scared. We have to go to the dining hall for the first time ever in V3. So, well, no, second time ever in V3. First time with everybody in V3, is what I should say. Um, I'm absolutely nerve-wracked, though, because this is a point where anything and everything can happen. And I'm like, oh boy. But we haven't had a free time yet. So we're okay for now. Shuichi, talk to me, buddy, please. Shuichi. Shuichi, I'm boarding. Okay. Good morning. Huh? What are you doing, Kara? Shouldn't you be at the dining hall? I'm... Uh, I'm on my way now. Hey. Hi, Ade. What's the matter? Yeah. No. Uh, it's nothing. The others are probably waiting for us. We should go. We should go. I wonder what's up with Shuichi. He was preoccupied or something. Well, I can ask him later. For now, I need to go. Yeah, for now, we need to go. Um, this way. We're running to the dining hall, everybody. And the dining hall, honestly... Is, has always been the spot and I love that everybody's like let's get up have breakfast in the morning and head to the dining hall I'm like yes exactly we have some pancakes we're gonna have the eggs whatever we want to have uh, oh everyone's here already so then now all of us have arrived <laughs> I'm glad it looks like as though we are there are no victims of course but of course by the way by the way are you okay Kayede? huh Huh? What do you mean? See? Well, you looked really bummed out after everyone started blaming you yesterday. Wait. Hey, what are you all doing all of... That's so mean. Seriously, you guys are so mean. Poor girl. She tried her best to encourage everyone, and, you're s and you sore losers got mad at her anyway. That's enough. What is the point in bringing that up again? Hey, degenerate man! Actually, didn't you blame Kayede first? <laughs> No, now it's my fault. Uh, ah, you guys are so terrible. So, so mean. Uh, huh, you're a little too noisy. Cut it out. Uh, oh, oh, great. You're this character. Why are you getting up on me? You guys are so terrible. I hate you guys. Uh, yes, you're that character. Great. Hmm, quite a cut it out. But it's true. Everyone blamed Kaede without taking any responsibility for themselves. No. Hey, come on now. Everyone is probably just tired. Shut up! Shut it! That is no excuse! That's wrong! No, it's okay. It does not bother me at all, Kaito. I... I just... I shouldn't have been... I should have been more considerate of everybody's feelings. Sorry. I was too focused on the tunnel, and I'm so sorry. I see. All right, well, if you're okay with it, then so am I. Thank goodness. Whew, cool beans. Now everything's settled. Hey! But you, did you, you did blame her first, didn't you? It's a lie. Well, that was a lie. You know, one of those lies to make up us more united or whatever. <laughs> did you know half of my lies are actually told with good intentions? I don't think that's how that works, but... Huh? What are you saying? Now that sounds like a lie. Um... Just forget about it and discuss something else. Right? Okay, let's all think about ways to get along out here. Whoa, 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 oh. Now, before you do that, I have an announcement to make. Stop it! Hey, don't suddenly show up. It is too much stress for my heart. Oh, sorry. oh, I didn't mean to surprise you. I knew it. Oh, so you did mean to surprise us. What's wrong? Good call out, Himiko. Well, your announcement. Well, now. It is not terribly important, but... It is easier to stay alive by being an obvious goody two-shoes, right? Being thrust into a killing game doesn't mean you'll be able to kill someone easily. So I figured I'd give you the... Are you guys the... Or what? I figure it ease you guys into the killing game by giving you a motivation to kill. What? Motivation to kill? I'll answer this. In short, a motive that ought to add a mystery to the proceedings. If a, even if a killer is exposed... They can whip up a sob story to deceive everyone. Incomprehensible. What are you saying? Your logic is impossible to understand. Now then. I will announce the first motive. Make sure you record this moment for posterity. Now then. 
the special motive I prepared is called the First Blood Perk. Wait, what are you up to, Monokuma? Wait. Wow! For the first murder that occurs, no class trial will be held. What? Can you believe it? No! That means the first one to kill someone will get to graduate! No strings attached! Monokuma! What are you talking about? No class trial will be held? Let me explain. Oh, I'm sorry. I made that class trial seem more important than it really is! So for the first murder, I've decided not to hold a class trial. Psycho. Please just relax, calm down, and kill. After all, the first one's free! Huh? That's all? We just gotta kill somebody and get out of here? Don't. That's all? What is that supposed to mean? Please just calm you down. Be first me. blood perk. Don't make it sound like it's some kind of game show bonus. <laughs> uh, you just say that, but I bet you're really happy, huh? huh? There's no way I'm happy. Stop it. Stop messing around. Do you think this is fun for us? Huh? Hmm? No, that's Do wrong. Do you really think I'd kill someone just to get out? That's wrong. In your dreams, we're not gonna lose to you. We promised each other that we'd escape from this place. <laughs> <laughs> Spare me your false bravado. You should be focusing on how you plan to survive. You just gotta kill someone, right? Always messing Why, around. you bastard! I, I see. The prisoner's dilemma. How very clever of you, Monokuma. Huh? huh? What's that? That's true. We all know it's better to cooperate rather than betray each other, right? But if you don't cooperate, you receive some benefit no one else gets. So insured. It's an incentive to betray the group and give yourself an advantage. With that, in the back of our minds, we're less likely to cooperate. Sure. That's Mamakuma's plan. To make a non-cooperative game that tanks Kaede's plan for us to cooperate. Huh? What? Uh, um... And if the murder were to occur, it would be even more unlikely that we'd cooperate. Terrifying. It's likely he created this perk for the sap's sole purpose. To tell you the truth. Right! I bet you can't stand all this tension in the air, right? So it's better just to kill! What? What? Wait, you? Wait. It seems like you were quite serious about forcing us to participate in this killing game. What exactly is your objective? Shut up! His objective doesn't matter! I am letting him... Or, I'm through letting him have his way! I've had enough! Kaido lunged towards Monokuma to grab him, but... Uh, uh, Kaido, you're gonna get yourself fucking killed. My god, Kaido, can you not? Yeah. Uh, Kaido! Hell yeah. Looks like we've got ourselves a volunteer! Finally! It's time for the Exocils! We won't let you lay a hand on our daddy. We want daddy to smile every day. Kaido! You bastards better pay attention, as this is what happens when you mess with us. What? What? What are you guys planning to do? Please stop! Please don't! Kaito! Run, Kaido! At the moment, we heard the menacing mechanical noises. The exiles charged. Kaido! Oh my god, you fucking idiot! No! Like, straight up! Like... Kaido! My god! From the... I, okay, like, here's the, the sad thing. is like, I kind of admit... <laughs> I kind of expected him to die first because he was being an idiot, but still. The sound of crushing metal echoed throughout the dining hall, and then a final gasp. Wait. Wait, what? Wait, what? Wait, what? 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 Huh? For father, ah! Daddy got turned into a pile of scrap metal. It's Monodom's this fault. This is Monodom's fault somehow. Um, what is this? What is going on? Geez. I'm not sure what's going on, but Monica was in pieces. Oh, uh, is that the first? Did he? Did he murder himself to make it so that the class trial actually counts now because first blood's been drawn? <laughs> okay. Monica was in pieces. Serves him right. He just got what he deserved. I do not agree. Let's do not celebrate just yet. I am certain he has a spare that will appear momentarily. Stop it! There is no spare. Don't trivialize life like that. Huh? What? <laughs> when father was still alive, he used to tell us cubs. 
that we must cherish life because we're just like snowflakes, unique in every way. Well, if only one existed, then does that mean Monokuma is dead? <laughs> Poor daddy. Let's bury him with full honors. <laughs> yeah, we'll cook him in low and slow and lock in the flavor. In that case. While we're at it, we should toss in some carrots and potatoes ah. too. Ah, maybe add some leftover curry too, you know, the sweet kind, my favorite. <laughs> You'll want to have an extra large side of rice with that too, right? That's right. Now, that we're the new headmasters, we gotta eat more so we can get strong, or we can get stronger. So wait, long, wait, 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 what? Um. Do we not, is Monokuma gone? What? How, how, how? How does that make me feel bad? Like, it shouldn't make me feel bad, but like, if we don't have Monokuma, what, what's gonna happen then? What's going anyway. on? Um, everything is a complete mess now, but if there's no final boss, <laughs> that means the killing game is canceled. Huh, canceled? Oh, no. I don't think so. Monokuma's just a robot. There has to be someone controlling him. Don't worry. Ah, don't be such a worry wart. Everything's gonna be fine. It's over now. With the mastermind gone, continuing the game is pretty much impossible. So that means... Which means we win. <laughs> yeah, we did it. <laughs> well. So we're not in danger anymore? <gasps> oh, so do we just wait here for the shuttle bus to pick us up or? That's no, wrong. No, that's wrong. Wait a minute. We don't know that yet. Hmm. Kaede, keep it, quit being a buzzkill. Everyone still is annoyed about what you did yesterday. Huh? But I didn't mean it like that. Well. Or is there something you would have us do, Kaede? Trashy skank. Don't tell me you want us to take the underground passage again. I'm right already. Quiet. We know it's impossible. Sorry. Sorry. Okay. What happens? Looks like we're not here. Whew, what a pain in, or what a relief. After Koichi finished talking, we all went our separate ways. I decided to return to my room, and we're going to have some free time. We need we need that free time right now. If Monokuma is dead, we definitely need the free time. Please. I don't know why, but once I went inside my room, I just started crying uncontrollably. Uh, why? At that moment, the intercom in my room rang. The monitor for communicating with us, but there's nothing displayed right now. What? It's a bed. It seems comfortable enough. What am I missing? The monitor rang. Intercom in my room rang. Oh, the intercom at the door. Duh, the intercom. Is someone at the door? I quickly wipe my tears and open the door. Shuichi! Okay? Kaede, are you alright? Yeah. Oh, Shuichi, um, what, what do you mean? I'm not sad, if that's what you're wondering. I'm... Kaede, it's not your fault. Huh? Huh? I knew it. The underground passage was a trap. A trap to get us to think that we could work together, then crush our hopes. You might be right. But... I know, but I wanted everyone to escape with... I wanted to escape with everyone. You know? But it's all right now. Everything is over, right? Um... Kaede, I know how you feel, and I believe in you. Huh? What? You believe in me? Is that all right? There's something I have to tell you. Will you come to the library with me? The library. What's gotten into Suichi all this, or Shuichi all of a sudden? We're going to the library, buddy. Let's go now. Um, hey, what did you want to talk that's... about? I'd like to talk to you at the library. Will you please come? Oh, do I have to just walk there? I guess. Where is said library? Oh, hi. I want to talk to you too. What's the matter? Kirumi, 
What are you doing here? I will grant your I'm wishes. waiting until someone is in need of my service approaches me. Huh? huh? So you're just waiting? Hey. Kirumi, you aren't our maid. You don't have to do that. That is my intention. As I have said, my only desire is to fulfill the desires of others. Until we escape, I intend to serve everyone. If either of you have a request to make of me, please do not hesitate to ask. Um, okay, I'm, I'm fine for now. I think I'm okay I too. See. I see. The ultimate maid is so impressive. She's so thorough. Where is said library? I guess I can just follow Suichi. Shuichi, and then we can just do our thing. Me not being able to hit buttons is a pain in the butt. Okay. Hi, girls. Well, I can't. Okay, I was like, I can't talk to them. Yes, I can. There's Tenko. Um, Tenko, what are you doing? I was hoping I could learn more magic from Himiko. I definitely want to incorporate magic into Neo Neo Akito. Please tell me, Himiko, what sort of training do you usually what use? I told you, I get tired about talking I'll about it. You. Then I'll massage your back so you won't get tired. Oh yeah. I wouldn't mind if you rested your head on my lap either. Gross. Stop it. That's weird. Facts, Himiko. Freaking facts, honestly. Hey, you guys, save me from this conversation. What's wrong? What's the matter, Himiko? We're not done talking about it yet, are we? I wish I could save you from that conversation. If I could help you in any way, I would right now. I was like, it's not on this floor, it's in the basement. Like before, the empty library was filled with the old set of musty books. Uh, um... Okay. Before I say anything else, I want you to promise that you'll keep this a secret. Yeah. Got it. Shuichi looked relieved and smiled. Like a great detective, he began explaining in exacting detail. Remember. This library has a book scattered everywhere, even books lying on top of the bookcases. But take a look at this book bookcase. It's the only one in the library with no books on the top. Uh. That one, you're right. Hmm. Also, you can see that the floor in front of the bookcase is noticeable markings. Mm -hmm. You're right. What I'm... is this? I noticed the markings the first time we came. I came here with you. This morning, I came back to investigate, and that's when I found this. He walked over to the bookcase, placed his hand between the gap. Oh, what'd you find for us? He found a hidden door! Whoa. 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 Is that the trial site? And it moved back to the bookcase. Whoa! Whoa it, it moved? moved? It swings open. Look, there's a door behind it. A door. Black and white door. This is the trial site for sure. The pattern on the hidden door is black and white, just like Monokuma. Hey. hey, do you think this door is connected to Monokuma somehow? That's. I think it might, but I do not know anything for sure. The door has a card reader lock, so I can't open it. Huh? You can't. Is that all right? But the fact that there's a door here makes me consider a certain possibility. The chance that the one of us, or that one of us here is cooperating with Mon Monokuma. Huh? huh? Cooperating with Monokuma? jeez. Uh, Wait a minute, what do you mean by that? Hey. It's only a hypothesis right now, but consider this. Why would there be a hidden door here? If it, there, if it's solely for Monokuma's use, he wouldn't have need to hide it. He could just have the Monokubs or the Exiles protect it and keep it in plain sight. Hmm. However, I can think of one reason the door would be hidden. For us to sneak in and use it without anyone else noticing. Um. Maybe, but I can't believe someone in our group would be working with Monokuma. That's true. I can't believe it either, but that's why, to confirm my suspicions, I decided to set a little trap on this card reader. Sp I sprinkled dust inside the card reader so that I could tell if it was used. Of course, I was careful to make sure the dust wouldn't come loose accidentally. And I don't think the person swiping their card would notice or care about a little dust. Um. So if the dust on the floor, if we see dust on the floor, that means that the one of us used the door, right? Well, well as I mentioned before, this is just a hypothesis, so there is no, I have no evidence yet. But, but if it is true, then even Monokuma is, is, if Monokuma is gone, this isn't going to end, Kaede. Uh, anyway, um. that's what I had to tell you. Of course, I do not expect you to believe me. I'm... I just wanted to tell you no matter what yeah yeah then well let's head back we shouldn't stay here too long facts after putting 
the moving bookcase back into place, we cautiously left the library. I so thought Kaida was dead. Is that all right? Kaede, please don't tell anyone what I showed you. I don't want to cause a panic. Yeah. Yes, I understand. Having made our promise, we return back to our own rooms. Is it nighttime already? Oh, Maradam. Hi, my favorite. That's a dot, that's a dot, that's a dot. Free time? Just one. The other Monocoba, Monocubs aren't here to bury Monokuma? Well, anyway, what Suichi told me earlier is really disturbing. One of us is cooperating with Monokuma. It's just hard to believe. But Shuichi trusts me. That's why you told me, right? Then maybe I should believe it. Wow! We're already out of material like closing time at a sushi, sushi restaurant? With a series lasts for several seasons, eventually it'll run out of material. My memory has been awful lately, so I wonder if it's gonna if it's because of how long the series has been going. Wait, what season are we on again? What material have we shown so far? Jeez, I don't remember. Maybe it's because they've released so many at this point. Oh well. Anyway, we need new material for Monica Theater. Please send your manuscripts along with a $1,000 application fee. If your entry is selected, you will receive a $100 gift card. What a generous prize. Don't miss out on the opportunity. Send your application today. Make sure you subscribe with that. We appreciate it. Yes, honestly, Monodom taking over Monokuma Theater, or not Monokuma Theater, the announcements, best decision ever. Please, Monodom. I want you to be in this spot every day, every freaking day, looking at you, saying no words, just letting me know, hey, by the way, it's 8 a.m. That would be the bestest. Also, I just noticed he's got everybody just like chill and next to him, which is kind of sketchy but it's okay we we still stand you monodom we still stand you um it's already morning i didn't sleep well last night yesterday's conversation is still in my mind i wonder what everyone else is doing are they gathered at the dining hall yeah i guess i'll go for now yeah we'll go to the dining hall i mean we have time might as well i mean there's no reason not to oh hi bud ryoma uh, morning ryoma oh. uh we're way past the morning at this point. Huh? Huh? Really? Did I? Didn't the morning announcement just play though? It's an old story. In prison, mornings were a lot earlier. We started at dawn. Huh? That early? In other words, in a in the day, we'd do our workout, eat at the same time. At night, all we could do was sleep. Inside those prison walls, I lived a frightening, frighteningly disciplined life. I see. Um, I suppose that sort of life sounds healthy. I guess. <laughs> hmm. Healthy body, healthy mind. Not cool. That's a bitter irony. That's right. Ryama was a famous tennis player before he became a prisoner. Did I make him feel bad? Well, hopefully not. But you, you probably didn't. Let's be completely honest. You probably didn't. Everything is probably just fine. Going to the dining hall. Hi, Kibo. Um. Good morning, Kaede. Uh, morning, Kibo. As I thought. Everyone appears to have gathered at the dining hall again. I see. Yep, it looks like it. For now. I'm thinking about heading over there as well, but. Um. But I. Oh, nothing. I was just wondering when someone is going to come rescue us. It's been almost a day since Monokuma was dispatched, but our situation hasn't changed. <laughs> I'm just speculating, but what if? Only Monokuma knew about this place. What if this location is not on any map? What if no one is coming to rescue us? Huh? huh? Which means... Maybe we'll all be forgotten and no one will ever find us again. Jeez. Don't say that. Besides, we should keep trying to escape, not waiting for someone to rescue us. That's right. Yes, I apologize. I was overthinking things. As I thought. It would be impossible to discreetly construct a facility such as this in the first place. Plus, if the professor knew I was missing, he would not rest until he found me. With his technology, he would rescue us no matter where on the earth we were. Yeah. Facts. Kibo keeps spitting them facts, honestly. 
Kenko, what degenerate males do you have on your mind right now? Oh, I, I keep like trying to talk to her way soon. Hey, morning, Tenko. Hiya! What? I'm sorry. Oh, I'm sorry about that. Good morning. Jeez. What was that all about? Um... Well, I haven't done much training since I got here, so I did some legit exercises in the gym, but I'm still full of energy, so I'm shouting to burn it off. Uh, I see. By the way. Anyway, exercise makes me hungry, so I'm gonna head to the dining hall. See ya. Bye, Tenko. Bye. I'm gonna go to the dining hall too. Just going the wrong way. Also, I know I could have talked to some more people, but I'm like really nervous about what's gonna go on in this dining hall and like when we're gonna get free time. Like, I feel like free time is bound to happen and we're gonna stop at free time, but. We'll talk to, uh. Despite. Uh, is it. Oh god, I can't remember her name. I'm gonna call her a blue haired girl for now, but that's. Despite all my worrying, everyone is in the dining hall was in a good mood. Right? Man, for a moment I had no idea what was gonna happen. I'm so glad it turned out like this. That's right. Yeah, seriously. Your life was spared, buddy. Uh, I slept so well last night. Also, I went to my the bathroom and brushed my teeth by myself. That's amazing! You did all that with magic? You're so amazing, Hitmiko! Thanks, B to Atua. Praise B to Atua. Surely he helped you in his own mysterious, miraculous way. I see. Sumigi. This Atua, you seem to act, or er, seems to act in secret quite a lot. Because Atua is watching over us. Because Atua smells danger. But when someone coming to get us. 100%. Whenever, whoever does, I assume that I will, they will come today. There's no need to worry. <laughs> Why the long face? No, no. Oh, it's nothing. I figure no one would listen to some guy who can't even remember his own talent, right? That is. What do you mean? Never mind. Really, it's nothing. This is quite a happy ending, after all. Mm. But is this really how it ends? Without thinking, I had blurted out that out loud. And now everyone is staring at me. Um. I mean, it just seems too easy. I don't I, I don't think it'll end like this. Oh. I wonder. Do you wish the killing game will, would have continued? That's not true. No, 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 not at all, not at all. Then don't ruin a happy moment, you fucking skank! Hey, Kaede. I don't know what you're or what you're so worried about, but Monokuma is dead now, so there's no way the killing game can continue, you know? It's my turn, Kuma! And that's my cue to appear, Kuma! <gasps> what? <laughs> ah! oh. Monokuma! He's still alive! My turn, yeah. No, no, no. You guys are blind or something, Kuma! I am Monokuma, Kuma! After dying in a tragic car accident, you've been reborn as Yokai. Call me Jiba Kuma Kuma. What is it? Jiba Kuma. Headmaster From now Kuma. on, I am the headmaster of the Ultimate Academy, Kuma. You might feel uncomfortable at first, but eventually you'll get used to it. Huh? huh? Did I slip up? On your knees. No, duh, you fucking fraud. Tired to find another car and ruin it you over again, and this time you stay dead. <laughs> Jeez, uh, what's so, such a low-level cosplay? I can't bear to look at it. From an anthropological point of view. I have an important question. Haven't you mistaken ghosts for yokai? Yokai are mythological creatures first created back when humanity lived close to, closely with nature. Back then, they were an embodiment of unexplainable natural phenomena. Wah, wah, wah. Man, you guys are buzzkills! I was all set for an adventure before you guys started yelling at me! Oh my god. This is why I hate teenagers. I have to cash for days if I was dealing with the 10 crowd, the under 10 crowd. Sign. The under 10 crowd's easy to please, I understand that. That is why there's literally a YouTube function Aww. to make sure that people aren't overusing it. Jeez, it's so loud in here. What is all the ruckus about? Oh, oh wait, our father who we thought was dead is actually alive. No way, Papa Kuma too hip to the modern resort. To the death is cheap trope. The yokai <laughs> did it. I bet the yokai did it. Yeah. Oh no, that bit is over already, Monophane. It ain't over yet. I think we're still talking about spooky stuff. <laughs> he should have told us that you were still alive. We've been making stew with your body. <laughs> Wait, Papa Kuma is standing here. Then whose body is the stew pot? Whoa, which Papa Kuma is the real one? What are you saying? No, they're both real. <laughs> Huh, but father, you said there was only one of each of us that were unique like snowflakes. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah, there's only one of each of you guys, but I have loads of spares. <laughs> Gah, why do you get enough spares and we don't? Of course you don't have the spares. 
Do you really think that anyone in this day and age would tolerate the death of this cheap, cheap trope? Oh, what does that mean? Got it. But now we know. This school has a machine that somewhere that can make a whole lot of pops. Just activate that machine and you can have as many spare pops as you want. What? 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 Hell no! This is an emotional reunion, so you all gotta take your licks! Father, your love is smothering us! No more, no more! Monophane probably enjoys it. Oh, when I see you guys, I just get so excited that I just can't take it anymore. You guys are so cute. I just wanted to see your guy. What your parents look like? Wait, me. I'm your parents. I'm sorry. I can't react to this. I'm in too much shock. Does that mean the killing game is going to continue? Continue. The killing game is gonna continue. What a pain. Facts, Himiko. That's not the problem, you donkey face. What do you mean the killing game is gonna continue? <laughs> I mean, that sounds like a lot less boring, so I guess it's okay. You gotta be kidding me! No, it is definitely not okay. Facts. That's right. Is that right? So, that's how it's going to be. If we want this, or to end I this, see. we have to take down Monokuma and the person behind him. <sighs> I predicted there would be a spare, but I did not expect it to be built within the academy. I do not mind. Either way, I assumed this would happen. This development was not surprising and at all. Is that so? Then, did you also assume the next exciting development? Oh god. <laughs> now then, I'm pleased to announce an additional motive! Oh, two motives! Two! An additional motive? A time limit is now in effect. A murder does not occur by night time. Two days from now, then every student participating in this killing game will die! Monokuma is being a lot more forceful in this game. And like... I, it's, it's a different take on Monokuma and I'm down for it, but he is really being forceful. Time limit. What? Everyone here will die. What is this? What? That's not fair. Wow. Jeez. Why did you guys come to this school if you're not going to do the killing game? Shut up. You're the one that's forced us to come here. Um. Quick question, Father. What do you mean by countless Monokumas? I thought we were up once time ran out. Let's do this. Damn right. Let the exiles do this. Or ex. Exisols. Do their thing this time. No, no. But I'd rather not go through that again. I'd feel bad if you guys tired yourselves out. Yeah, but... But if we let the excess sales get popular, we could have real cash cow on our hands, you know? That merchandising right alone would be make us richer than Sultans. Ah, Sultans, huh? Again. Very tempting, but... That's I won't let you kids ruin your futures! You need to have your own kids and ruin their futures! Daddy? Daddy? I love, you love us so much. Oh, That's enough. Oh. oh, you're still here? Of course we never left. Why? Why are you doing this? You, how much suffering do you want to put us through? Hmm? I see. Well, if you're suffering, y'all better hurry up and start the killing game. <laughs> <laughs> then you can say bye-bye to suffering. You bastard. You, tell you, the truth. you don't realize that working together is pointless, so just knock it off already. You know what you're gonna do, don't ya? Yeah! You're surrounded by strangers, neither allies nor friends. No need to worry about them. Well, plus, you got the first blood perk, which means the first kill is free. How gory! But the killing game is so gory, huh? I'm starting to feel a little queasy. Hell yeah! Hell yeah! And if you don't play, then they're gonna be dead anyway. So um, that's way more gory. 
I see. If it's graduate gr or gratuitous over the top gore, I might be able to stomach that. <laughs> Forget the killing game then. It'd be better if y'all just die together. Shut up. Shut up. Get the fuck back. <laughs> well, what do you guys decide next is all up to you. Do whatever you want. But you can all die working together or you can all survive on your own. Uh, it's your call. <laughs> Man, father's in the zone. I was getting irritated until he said all of that. Hell yeah. Hell yeah, let's toss back some honey to celebrate Papa Kuma's return. Yo, Monodom, go get some pure organic honey. Pour some honey on me in the name of killing. <clears throat> so long, farewell. God, Blue Monokuma is going to kill my throat, but it's fine. After Monokuma left, all that remained was utter fear and despair. Um. So, what are we going to do? Night times in two days. We'll be here in an instant. Really? That's gonna be something we do. I can't die. The world, the world needs my genius. I don't like that. I don't wanna. I, I don't wanna die yet. Die. Everyone's going to die. Is dying the only choice? Atua says so. You don't need to worry. Atua will welcome you with open arms. Mm. That's after we die, right? Jeez. We can't panic about something like this. I'll do something about it. Well then. Do you have a course of action in mind? Shut up. I'm gonna start thinking of one right now. I don't understand. Figures. I didn't expect anything from you in the first place. Maki! I love the serious nature that Maki has, though. Like, Maki, honestly. Mwah. Chef's gifts. No can forgive. We got to fight back then. Um... Yeah, if we strike them with some sneak attacks, we might have a chance of winning. No. What kind of Aikido moves even involve a sneak attack? Don't you wanna help everyone? Come, everyone. Gunta. Use body to keep everyone safe. Not cool. You're going to go against the machines barehanded. Isn't that too reckless? Mm -hmm. But we have to do it. If we don't, we're going to die. Mm -hmm. Wait, we still have plenty of time to calculate all possible options. How terrifying. We've no time to be inde indecisive. We are being urged to make a decision. To die fighting or to die from the time limit. Stop it! Why are both choices involving us dying? How? No way. Are we really gonna die? I don't wanna die yet! I'm gonna survive, I'm gonna do, or gonna make it no matter what! Uh, no matter what. That's wrong! Wait, you can't do that though. Even if you make a mistake, you can't. Oh. Then you'll accept the blame. Huh? Huh? Because. I, will you accept the blame if I die? I have people who will said be sad if I die, you know? Um, um well. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lying. No one will be sad if I die. But I don't know if I can say the same for everyone else. So that means... Anyway, I'm going to take off now. Bye-bye. Take off. Where are you going, Kokichi? Um... I don't know. Maybe I'll go back to my room and think things over alone. The fuck's going alone on? Alone in your room? What do you mean by that? Are you inviting me to come over and kill you? No. Me? I... I... No, no, not that, that I would try to claim that perk for myself. I'm way too classy to kill someone. <laughs> Talking to you idiots is exhausting. Wanna go back to my room and rest? Okay, go back to your room. Bye. Got it? Mew, you better not do anything shady, okay? I'm worried. There's no need to worry, is there? No one's going to kill anyone, right? Hmm. If someone is going to kill, they should just go for the robot. No way! That's even worse! Hmm. hmm. So everyone feels that killing is wrong. But why is that? Huh? What? How mysterious. Of course. I know it's against the law, but laws are simply rules people decide upon. It is a space removed from those rules. Therefore, we have no need to follow them. That's enough! Don't say stupid shit like that. Even kids know killing is bad. It's common sense. Even if it's to survive. Kyo has got a point, though. We are as guinea pigs upon a lab table. We cannot be picky about our means of survival. What? What? <laughs> I only wish to observe the beauty of humanity and witness the depths of its sins. So, no need to fear me. God, everybody's going one one at a time. That's sketchy. Kyo. Mm -hmm. Males and their soft sciences are pretty soft themselves, so I don't think he'll do anything. Jeez. Hmm. He's not wrong, though. If we want to stay alive, standing around grumbling is not going to change anything. Well, as things are, we're not going to escape together. We're going to die together. Are you guys okay with that? 
stop it. Hold on, everyone. We haven't decided on our plan yet. I'm right already. You can't. You can decide that on your own. Huh? What? You don't know. You half-assed speeches won't work on us anymore. You know that, right? Then. So come up with a plan yourself, or for yourself. Uh, wait, Maki, wait. Well then. Uh, I'm just gonna pray to Atua. Bye, Angie. Go pray to Atua. Keep us safe, girl. Seems like. Yeah, I can go and think by myself for a little. It's a shame that I won't be able to hide all my special art commissions before I die. Uh, or that special pillowcase I bought. What should I do? Uh, but wait, you guys! You guys! You can't listen to Monokuma! <sighs> everyone was wrong. And why everyone's scatter? <laughs> Fine. Then all of you just do whatever you want. This is exactly what Monokuma wants us to do. Who... So what else is part of his plan? In my if is my memory part of it too? If it is, then that's a shame. I can't even trust myself. Huh? Rantaro, what's wrong? Mm -hmm. What's wrong? He says. How should I? Hey, this? I have a question. This might sound a little weird, but does the term "ultimate hunt" ring a bell for anyone? Ultimate hunt? Um. What is that? I've never heard of it. What's the matter? What about it? Never mind. Nothing. Just forget it. Huh? Excuse me. What do you mean, Rantaro? No, no. Oh, it's nothing, really. I'm just a bit confused is all. Mm, Everyone's a little anxious, but I'm not about not being able to remember how they got here, right? Well, in my case, I'm not only dealing with that, but I can't remember my talent. I'm sorry. So I guess I'm asking you to bear with me if I say things that don't make sense sometimes. Uh. Rantaro. Without looking back, Rantaro just waved his hand and left. In the end, I couldn't stop everyone from leaving into the dining hall. Why won't anything go right? I just want to escape with everyone, so why is everything going wrong? I know the answer. It's Monokuma's fault. The one who's controlling him and planned the entire killing game. It's their fault. Yeah, it is. I mean, there's a lot going on. But in the next episode of Danganronpa 2, goodbye to Go! In the next episode of Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony, we will be taking care of freaking... Uh, more things. I cannot believe I just did that. Fuck. Anyway, thank you guys so much. I love you all. Bye.